Cindy, I'm your principal, and it's just a family. Hi, family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're here to support. I'm excited to see you and to hear your presentation today. Thank you. Um, my name is Malou Manitza, and welcome to my grad defense. So I'm going to start off with telling you about who I am. I'm an artist. I love doing art in my free time and also taking art classes. Um, I've taken oil painting, figure drawing, ceramics, and jewelry making at Spokane Falls Community College, along with art classes um, throughout my high school. I'm also an animal lover. I have a little cat named Sprout. And um, because I'm an animal lover, being a vegetarian is super important to me. Um, I'm an explorer. I love going on hikes and going camping. Um, I go camping almost every summer with my grandma. And I'm a student and an active learner. Um, I learn best in project-based learning. And what really challenges me is working in groups. So I came into freshman year um, having no idea what I wanted to do after high school, which I think is pretty normal, but I also didn't take school very seriously. And I actually failed one of my first classes I took, which is why I got enrolled in targeted support, which is an elective where you get extra help with your classes. Um, and Jackie really, really helped me in targeted support. I honestly think taking targeted support um, helped me change my path in a more positive direction. And then sophomore year, I started to do hobbies that I love again, such as art, and I became more engaged in my learning. I um, started learning about climate change and about the environment a lot, and this really interested me, and I went out in my free time and watched documentaries because I was really intrigued by it. Um, one of my favorite documentaries is Sea Spiracy. I really recommend it. And I also learned about Western Washington University, um, and I went on a college tour, which really helped me because after my college tour, I knew that I wanted to go to college after high school. And then COVID hit, and this was the last quarter of my sophomore year, and we went into quarantine, and I had to adapt to new routines. But honestly, routines is what got me through um, quarantine and what helped me stay accountable for myself. I continued learning from home, and I made my own projects with school. Some of my favorite projects I made was for math, I designed my dream house with all the real dimensions. And then for science, I made homemade dye out of plants and learned about that. Um, and because I had to do school during quarantine, um, it helped me become a better problem solver. And then junior year, I started Running Star as a part-time student at Spokane Falls Community College. And I started off as a part-time student because I wasn't really sure if I would like it, but then I actually really enjoyed it. So I switched to a full-time Running Start student the second quarter. I also spent a lot of time at the gym. That was something that was really important to me. And I had a steady year with steady grades. Senior year, I continued my education as a full-time Running Start student. I started planning for after high school and really thinking about what I wanted to do. Um, I took driver's ed and I got my license. That was really exciting. And then I got diagnosed with systemic lupus, which is an autoimmune disease. And how this affected me was it made me more fatigued and I got inflammation in my joints. I also got accepted to Western, which I was super excited about because it was actually the only college I applied for. <laughs> Um, and that's because I couldn't really see myself going anywhere else. And my plan was if I didn't get in, I was going to take a gap year in work maybe and then reapply a year later. And I'm ready for graduation and I'm also prepared for college in the fall. I showed agency when applying to Western and I got my FAFSA done early. I've also applied for my housing for next fall. I was debating between a student apartment and a dorm, but I chose the student apartment. Um, I've also succeeded in my college classes through the start, and I was awarded a work-study job at Western. Um, I visited Western last fall with my parents, and I got a tour of the campus, so I really know what I'm getting myself into. And what I'm interested in in the future is marine biology, botany or being an environmental lawyer and basically I just know that I want to do something that involves either the environment in some type of way, climate change, 
animals or plants because that's what really inspires me. I chose Western because it has marine biology and it has botany. I've always wanted to live close to the water or um, by the ocean, um, and it's not too far away from my family. I didn't really want to go out of state, and it's affordable, and there's lots of nature and places to hike in Bellingham, so that's a plus. And I'm really nervous to leave my parents and leave my cat behind, but I'm ready for my next steps at Western. Thank you. Thank you. You packed a lot in. <laughs> I think a lot for us to wrap our heads around there. I give the panel a chance for questions and comments. Draw a little more from you. Well done. Um, Thank you. I liked how you started with this, you know, helping us get to know you a bit and what your passions are. Mm -hmm. um, and I think seeing your presentation, it's clear that you are someone that takes agency, doing running start, um, applying for FAFSA. I just think that's a really great skill to continue to lean into. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the issue of climate change is such an important one. And, um, yeah. That's top of mind. For you, I think it's great that you're pursuing that field. I think there's a lot there to make a true impact in the world around you. Um, so yeah, I just think that was great, and I think you have a great future. Thank you. Uh, I love what a self-learner you are. Like you really took it into your own hands, like during COVID, to make all of those things, and then you, you know you you said you result it resulted you in being a better problem solver. I was so impressed with that. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of young people, you know, I actually sat in, I, I taught a little marketing class for uh, Chimi High School. <laughs> it was really interesting being on the teacher end and seeing a bunch of kids laying in sleeping bags not looking at you. <laughs> so the fact that you and him did that, I was seriously, I was like, that is amazing. <laughs> um, and you're very self-motivated. I mean, you're just really taking your life and your career into your own hands, and that is very impressive. Um, your goals are amazing. and. Um, both my children graduated from WWU. Uh -huh. and I do love that campus. Yeah. My parents will be there often <laughs> because I really miss going there. When they graduated, it was very sad. It's an amazing university, so congratulations. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for the future. That's amazing. Thank you. I love watching the journey from like, your freshman year when you said, eh, yeah. I didn't really take it too seriously. <laughs> And then you start taking the reins. Mm -hmm. And then these last two years, you've had to. Um, and that word agency, I think that means a lot to us. And I wrote that down to you really show your agency. You also, even in a, a, a quick packed um, set of slides, you really, your values really come across around your own health, mm -hmm. around the health of the environment, um, around animals. I mean, you're. Mm -hmm very caring person in a holistic way, Western would be the perfect place mm -hmm. for you to be able to live into that. And then you didn't talk a lot about your artwork. Oh, you? yeah. You are you know, very artistic, and I haven't seen your work like that before. So yeah. um, you want to donate any of that to the community school? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think that's a uh, skill set. This is a little unconventional, but you just remind me of something um, <laughs> that we can share. So it is coming to the community. <laughs> so, so open that up and share it with us, even though you don't remember what it is. So that's all I would say is you are multi talented and a bright future. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Will you, as you're sharing that, speak a little to what Cindy said? Where does your art fit into all of this? My art? Yeah, who um, you are and where you want to go. And... Yeah. Um, art's just like an escape for me, I think. So um, it's what I do. It makes me calm. I'll probably continue doing art, even at Western. Um, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a piece of yours from your early in your sophomore year as part of a larger project. Wow. 
Yeah. And, uh, mm -hmm. So um, a local artist. You wanna, do you remember what this um, was all about? She was doing like a heart exhibit and then um, we made pieces revolving around the heart and then she interviewed us and we talked a little bit about it and I think it went in an exhibit. Yeah, right? she, she exhibited this in three different venues, I believe, in Montana and then here. <laughs> uh, and your art was featured and now that it's mm -hmm. no longer being exhibited, she wanted to get it back to you. <laughs> Malou, the, the growth of it uh, has been being referred to and that came out in your presentation. Amazing growth from you know, picturing a uh, 14-year-old 101 freshman to Malou coming in. Uh, it's been a lot, a big big change in just four short years. COVID hit and you were, so for me and for many of us educators, all of a sudden we're at home, you're at home, and the ability to, although I went to almost everybody's house, I didn't know <laughs> yours, uh, but I didn't really need to, you so surprised, not that I had low expectations, but just the, the agency that you showed with your learning all of a sudden and the communication, you were so communicative, asking me questions, getting feedback, getting support, and then just doing things and having your own ideas for your learning. Yeah. I saw a whole new side of you during that time that just emerged that I hadn't, hadn't really, maybe if I had been more insightful, I would have seen it sooner. Can you speak to that? Did, was there a change? All of a sudden you um. found yourself in quarantine and your learning blossomed, which wasn't necessarily the case for a lot of yeah. students. I think a part of that had to do with that I was homeschooled up until eighth grade. Um, so that really helped me. I was kind of used to doing stuff at home. Um, and then when I went to eighth grade, I didn't go to a very good middle school. So that's what kind of brought me down when I came into freshman year. That's where I was coming from. <laughs> And yet, then you were able to to transition to what's very formal schooling. At, uh, first, you came back with us, and yeah. part time running started. And then you were like, "I'm all in for college." <laughs> yeah. Um, so very formal education classes. How has this transition uh, worked for you? What what? Why is it working so well for you? Um, I don't know. I think for college, I really liked how um, independent I had to be. Um, I don't really like the setting where I'm feeling forced to do every little thing, which that's kind of how it was in my middle school. Um, so just like being able to be independent and that's what made me do really well in college, I think. Well, it's sure been fun to watch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm excited for your journey uh, starting in the fall. What's the summer look like? Um, maybe a summer job, if not, maybe volunteer work. And then I might visit my grandparents, maybe visit Bellingham a little bit before I move. Well done. Thank you. Anything else? I think we're good. Yes? Thank you.